one's potential is so huge and so vast. Yet, why is it that so many fail and usually come last? So few truly succeed that when they do, others are jealous and totally aghast. Let's all believe in success and I promise that failure will be part of the past. The things you think and the things you believe, if they are true, then those are the things that you will achieve. But if your thoughts are false or they are used to deceive, you'll be stabbed in the back and that is a promise that you had better believe. Get rid of depression, worry and fear because success is so often very near. Tell your subconscious, success is mine and tell it to hear. Remind it often that success will be yours, that is a promise. Just ask the divine for whatever you desire. For happiness or abundance or anything else to which you aspire. It's now time to succeed. So go ahead, set your goals and light that fire. And I promise you this, you will soar higher and higher. Hi fellow ANTHE students. Hi, we're going to be talking to you guys about the blood drive we will be having, which will be on the 27th and 28th of September. You should donate um, blood because it's a great cost. You can save up to three lives and you'll feel here afterwards. Alright, what, what you're going to need to bring is going to be a permission slip and an ID. And if you're 16 years of age, you're going to actually have to get a FWCS um, permission slip also, along with your ID and regular permission slip. America uses 36,000 units of blood per day, and blood is needed every two seconds. You're gonna have to maintain a healthy iron level. By doing that, you can eat raisins, eat like fish, eat red meats and stuff, and also like boiled eggs and stuff to keep your iron level high to be able to donate. Get a good night's sleep. Also, after donate, you'll get hunted house tickets and you put into a raffle to win $10 gift cards to McDonald's. All right, donate blood. <laughs> yeah.
Okay. Uh, yeah. So when I get back to the office, I'm on my way there right now, and I'll be able to help you with that as soon as I get there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's good. That's good. But if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be there right away. Are you serious? I'm sorry. Alright, but well, I'm on my way right now and I'll let you go. Alright, fine. Where'd my wallet go? Are you serious? Did I leave it in the car? Chucky's, the best burgers in town. My name is Justin. I'll be your server this morning. Uh, can I start you off with something to drink? Water, please. Yeah, I'll be right back with that. So uh, we're starting our trek to Powers Restaurant, Hamburger Shop. I've never been there, never ate there. I heard it's terrible from a couple of friends. So I'm interested to go there today and eat some Powers hamburgers. That is what I'm on my way to do now. I have no idea where it is, so I'm on my GPS. I'm in the beautiful city of Fort Wayne, Indiana, downtown. It's a... Uh, bright, sunny, Tuesday morning, September 20th. What a glorious day. The terrible dreaded Anthus parking lot. Sirens in the distance knowing that something's going wrong because it's Fort Wayne. It sucks. I wonder if a place like Powers actually uses real meat or it's just like fake sliders that they just like heat up in the microwave and then serve you. That sounds like Powers hamburgers. High establishment food. Hmm. I see it in the distance. Powers. I think it's closed. Oh, that's open. Dang it. it smells like onions. It does. <laughs> it's, wow. And sad. Smells like it smells like onions and sadness. So I got my food. I ordered my uh, double cheeseburger. I ordered my single cheeseburger. I ordered my chili. And I ordered ice cream. 
thought I'd try every piece of the menu just to see what Powers has to offer. Um, I sat there for about 10 minutes waiting for my food until they messed it up and had to make more. So that was an experience. And, and, and like in between it is just like a couple pieces of onion and a burger, like a foot, like the, it's this skinny. It's a paper thin piece of meat. It looks terrible. On our way back, hearing Anthus, where I will chow down on this food. Looking forward to it, actually. I have my. Oh. I have my ice cream. I have. Ooh. Chili. And I have my burgers. What was the price for this, by the way? I don't know. Seven fifty-six. Seven dollars and fifty-six cents for a quality Fort Wayne meal. Now. This. Is what I bought. What is that? I don't know. It doesn't look good. I'll tell you that. It looks like they just put some tissue paper around a. Look, look at this. this is... Oh, that yeah. It's disgusting. <laughs> I paid good money for this. Nice. <laughs> At least it's still warm. I don't know if that's good. I'd be concerned if it was let's warm take, or cold. Let's take the first bite into greatness. Oh, this is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Wow. I'll not be surprised if they're unemployed soon. That was terrible. The only people that were eating in there were old people, so I'm guessing they lost their taste buds a while ago anyway, so. Mm. Yeah, is it good? Tastes like just the kind I have at home. Nice. Well, all good. The burger, a solid two. The ice cream, a six. Ooh. That's good. This is out of uh, out of ten, correct? Mm -hmm. This is out of thirty. Out of thirty, okay. So that makes more sense. We're at eight out of twenty right now. It's not good. I don't know. Oh yeah. This does not look good at all. How many years ago do you think they made that thing? <laughs> I feel like this has been sitting in a bin since Christmas. Oh yeah, that's bad. I don't even want to take a good bite. I want to try the, yeah, this is good. It's not good at all. All right. So I've ate my food as much as I want to eat. I don't want to eat anymore. Um, and overall, out of thirty, the total score is ten. So I'd say don't eat here ever. It's terrible. And I had a terrible experience. People were mean to me. I felt uncomfortable in there. I didn't feel safe. And now, after I eat this food, I don't. I don't feel safe at all. I feel like 
it's going straight through my body. Thank God I'm near the vet restroom. So I can just quickly go in there. I'm about to throw all of this shit up. That was terrible. And this was a cab episode, a dude talking about food. I found some better sounds no one's ever heard I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words How's your day today? Good. That's good. So I heard today was the first day of fall? Uh, I have no clue. What's your name? Tamara. Tamara. My name is Richard. Richard? Yeah, my friends call me Dick, though. Do you like that? It's all right, I guess. I like Richard. Yeah. How's it going? How's your day? What are you going to get this for? Nice. What's your name? Yeah. My name is Richard, but my friends call me Dick. It's okay, it's cool, I guess. It's fine. Why are you lying here? How's your day going today? Good. What class are you in? And so, what's your name? Hmm? Oh, nice. My name is Richard, but my friends call me Dick. <laughs> 